The Bernina 880 Plus sewing machine comes loaded with accessories. So we're gonna just go over the sewing accessories that come with this machine, plus a few things that need to be added to the machine. When it came, it wasn't on it. Plus, there is a little yellow holder here. I want you to actually pull this off before you turn the machine on because it's gonna kind of calibrate, but that's just really for shipping. So if you wanna throw this out, please do so. But there's a lot going on here. If you've opened it brand new there's a lot in this box we're going to load up the accessory box if you notice there's another box inside here so we're just going to go through every single one and uh, tell you what they actually are so some of these accessories are pretty pretty amazing so number one this came inside the machine here so I'm going to just take this out and this is the built-in thread stand so when you're looking at it you can also pull this off if you if it has come off when you opened it up and you're going to notice that there is a hole here plus the spindle so as you slide it down onto that spindle it actually can rotate out and into position in a couple different locations so right here and then this will pull up when we actually start to use it if you are traveling or want to keep it protected and dust free this can easily go over it there's a little place on the side here that allows you to kind of clip this right into this little guy. So I'm going to actually leave this part off because we're going to be using that right away. Now there's a few other things that were in the box. Make sure you have located these. Your buttonhole foot is from down inside the cavity where the sewing machine was set in. So I am going to make sure that we have that pulled out and ready to go into the accessory box. Plus your foot control, just to note that the cord is actually wound underneath. So what you're here looking at is a cord you can make to any length that you want, but when you go to wind it back up, it winds clockwise. So if you're looking for the best way to do this, if you've wound it the other way, this does not work. Um, here's what I'm talking about. There's a little place where you backtrack slide it into that little holder, this little holder, and then it travels with this pushed into the side. So that's how easy it is to travel with. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that off. It's nice and long, so depending on how high your table is, it's gonna be easy to uh, make to the perfect length. You do have a presser foot lifter. I will show you how to use this. It does go right into here and it lifts and lowers the presser foot with your knee. Awesome. The machine is actually gonna do the lifting for you most of the time, so I don't use this as much as I used to, but if you are a previous Bernina user, know that this is now, or is still in, integrated into the entire the machine. What's nice is it does lower the feed dogs when you do lift up the presser foot when using this, so that is great. The slide on table, plus the accessory guide that can slide onto the table. We will be using that and I'll show you some tricks for putting that on. Okay, in this box, oh, so wonderful. The Bernina Stitch Regulator is in here. We will do a complete video on how to use it. This has truly revolutionized the way that I machine quilt. I do all my own machine quilting now. Um, all the quilting that's on the Stitching Cosmos online course, which is the black quilt right behind us here, all the quilting has been done and I do do it on a Bernina and that is why. Quality thread, we're gonna talk about quality thread throughout our videos, but Mettler is a good brand. There are good brands and then not so great brands. This is a high performance sewing machine. Make sure you're feeding it with good quality thread because the first thing that I always ask my students when they call or have troubles, I'm like, well, what thread are you using? And then what needle size do you have in? And have you oiled the machine lately and cleaned? So those will be things that you'll wanna make sure you're doing on a regular basis. And before you uh, have any troubles or call your store, make sure that you're working with some good quality thread. Okay, so in here, let's talk about this wonderful accessory box. First off, make sure you pull the feet out behind it because if you don't, it falls over. So <laughs> here we go. There is lots of places for all these tools and parts. So we're just gonna be going through them one by one and finding places. So in this box, there's a lot of, 
There's a lot of things. Okay, so first off, we're gonna get into all the different things that come into these boxes. Usually I don't need to keep these, but if you would like, they do kind of hold some of the extras, maybe for some of the things that you don't use all the time. So this little pink thing, this is not oil. It's kind of a little bit of a silicone if you're working with some decorative threads, some in, invisible threads too, sometimes that can help uh, help alleviate some issues. Um, this is a, it sure looks like a dentist tool to me. Keep this out. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna be able to see how the bobbin is correctly threaded by the use of peeking underneath with the mirror. So I'm gonna actually keep that one out. I'm gonna set this other part a little bit to the side. Okay, so everything that's in here, let's just start to go through them. Um, spool cap, um, spool cone holder. So if you're using a larger cone, bigger one, it might wiggle a little bit. Put that underneath as, uh, as a holder. Nice little pack of needles. I am gonna tell you a little secret. Just because it says Bernina needles doesn't mean that that is the only brand of needle you can use on this machine. Just make sure it's a 130 slash 705 H needle and those will assist you with um, being able to have the right needle. But there's a nice variety pack that comes with this machine. Tweezers, one of the best tweezers that come with this. It is it is great. Okay, this tool doesn't look like much, but it will help us with a lot of things for adjusting bobbin tension and even opening this area up. So if you get any thread caught in here, you can get it out. So that's not a bad thing to have. Thread net, so if you ever have thread that wants to kind of fall off the spool and kind of puddle, slip one of these over it and just let it kind of gently kind of restrain it. Works great with metallic threads too if you're having trouble with those. Um, a little threader, I'm sure I will need one of those. I just don't know when the last time it was that I needed them. Brush for cleaning, so I'm gonna leave that out because that is going to be what uh, we'll show you for the videos. Stylus. So let me talk about stylus. You can use that to touch the screen. You can also use your finger or fingernail. So everything is active. And I have been known to slide it right down this little holder right here um, as a little place to, to store it. Uh, again, one other tool we'll get to later, not something that we use a lot. Seam ripper, one of the best seam rippers in the world. Bernina's seam rippers are super sharp. I love those. And then we do have some extra guides. This tool will be used for how to cord pin tucks, which is something that we do in the Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. Speaking of guides, we have seam guides. I will show you how to put all these wonderful pieces on. It goes on and on. So, um, screwdriver. This little guy is what you're gonna use to take your needle in and out. It actually goes right here. So since this does have a little place, I am gonna slide it into position now. Um, a handheld needle threader, so we'll show you how that works, and a height compensation tool. So if you're going over really thick jeans, I'm gonna help you with that when we get to some of those videos. And some spool caps. I have a small spool cap in here, so if that is something that you're needing, that will be great. So most of these smaller tools can easily fit in these bottom drawers. And I open the bobbin, bottom drawers and there's even more things in here, including a straight stitch throat plate. I forgot that that comes with this machine. I'm so excited. These are actually for holding your different uh, 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 feet. And so I'm gonna put these here and you can adjust these to what you need them to actually be. Uh, I am gonna put these every other one. You can actually get three rows of feet in this accessory box. These are for the slightly wider tops, like with the, the, um, the, the coated tops. So we'll be talking about those as well. Um, straight stitch throw plate. Love this for machine quilting. You can put it on for embroidery. You can even tell the machine when you've put this on so it doesn't let you accidentally pick a zigzag or a decorative stitch and break your needle. A lot of times I'll just slide it right here and just set it so it's close by. Okay, this is the one that has all the feet in. This is even much heavier and this is the one I really want to get into for today. So we do have a uh, machine oil. Again, this machine is gonna need oil every time you sit down to sew. So I'm gonna leave this out because I'm gonna show you where that is. We have a USB stick um, is included. So that is a Bernina USB stick. So you are all set for downloading designs. And then we have the Bernina bobbins, which by the way, 
Bernina Bobbins, love these, you will find that they actually have a place right here that they can all slide into. And then when you push down on the little lever, they just roll out. So I am gonna actually put my empty ones in a place here. And you can actually get more of the bobbin holders. So if that is something that you like to be able to store in the accessory box, go ahead and do that. The rest of the feet. Oh, I love feet. And this is something that we do get into a lot with our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. It's not just the feet that come with this machine, uh, but all the other accessory feet. And that's something people ask me about. Well, which ones do I need? And I'm like, yes, but if you take the course, you'll know which ones you'll like and which ones you might not need, but also learning other uses of the accessories. So that's also a very good way to really get the most out of your machine is buying the feet that will work for you and the way you sew. So the first one I have in my hand is a secondary buttonhole foot. It's 3C. And it is the one that actually, if you needed a buttonhole this big, your butt regular buttonhole foot, which by the way is right here, is only going to allow you to make one this big. So you can actually make a manual sized buttonhole. Uh, our other buttonhole foot will sit sideways right here at this point. These little guys are for the needles. So as you buy more needles, you can put them all in that location. Uh, foot number five is a blind hem foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one here. You're seeing how I'm just kind of rocking them into position. 18 is a button sew on foot, also comes with this machine. You have a regular number one C on the machine and one D, D for dual feed. We're gonna talk about how your built-in walking foot will just come and sit right down into the back of this. It's already on the machine. You don't have to have a second machine at all. 40C is the one that you're gonna use for sideways motion stitching. So if, the if you've picked a stitch that is sideways motion and you select it, it's going to tell you the best foot to use it's gonna be 40C. So I love that the machine is gonna tell you which foot to use. An open toe foot, number 20, and a number uh, 4D, that's a zipper foot, and also with the dual feed, D for dual feed, so that is there. Now, I do see one little guy that always seems to catch people, and they have an extra screw. So this is actually a seam guide screw for the back of my foot number 2A, an overlock foot. He is missing his screw out the back, so I'm gonna just slide that in. So if you ever see one of these screws, um, that's you're just looking at which foot is missing it, and once it gets started, it's on. Or if you're missing one, you can always pull one off one of the other feet. So this one is actually one of the smaller tops, so it's gonna fit up here on one of these racks. So I'm gonna set this other rack kind of down and inside. And I think we have actually covered all the accessories. Love this because if you are traveling and have everything together, nothing falls apart if you uh, don't have this always straight up. So I do love the fact that wherever I go, all my accessories stay in this wonderful box and they all have their place and they stay where I put them. All right, so there's lots of accessories. Let's get playing with the decorative stitches, how to get threaded up, how to clean and oil that machine, and we are going to start playing with all these amazing tools that come with the Bernina 880 sewing machine.